this is Troy from Michigan Prospectors. I have here what I am calling the Mega Sluice. This is a monster of a sluice box that I am putting together. And I got the mats. They arrived. You've seen the videos of them, my unboxing of the Dream Mat and the V Mats. Now I've got the frame for the Mega Sluice. And today I went and picked up the plumbing. Let's go put it together and see how it's going to work out. By the way, <laughs> when I went to the fabricator to get my Mega Sluice frame, um, they first brought this thing out and set it on the counter and looked at me expectantly and ready to pay. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> what is that? And they looked at me funny and I said, well, I ordered a uh, 12 by 52 inch and I'm not sure, but that's not 52 inches. So they went and they uh, started making this one. And meanwhile, um, they were going to take this in the back and who knows what they would do with it. But I said, wait a minute. You know, I could use that as a feeder tray for my sluice. What would you charge me to keep that? And they went and talked and then they came out and said, you can have that for free. So I've got the feeder for my mega sluice right here. I'm going to probably just bend the, the sides out a bit and make some little wings on there and maybe uh, flange it in or something here in the end. I'm not sure yet how I'm going to work that. I'm probably going to make it um, detachable. I may um, cut here a little bit and bend these in just slightly and uh, snip a bit off there so that'll slide in here. I might actually then put some um, some uh, flashing on here so that the water is forced to flow this way always. I don't know, I'm going to work that out. But that was a bonus, bonus piece. I am so happy I got a bonus piece. Let me go get my mats. Let's check this out. So I've got here the Dream Mat Micro. All right, right on the bottom. And then I've got the Deep V Mat. Now the Dream Mat Micro, uh, I, I noticed and I've checked them all out in every mat. Um, I, and I'm not saying this one in particular or this one in particular, but every single mat I have got in my um, last order says it's 12 inches wide. And every single one is different from the other in width. Now I made this uh, 12 and 1 16th inch because, I, well I'm happy I did because everything varies and everything's different. And I can always put a bead of silicone in here or something. Um, it looks like the Dream Mat is actually a tiny bit narrower here and a tiny bit wider here. But um, anyway, then, and this is 12 inches, this is 12 inches, and it is bigger. Now my Miner's Moss says it's 12 inches, and it's a lot smaller. So I will probably... Um, I'm going to have to trim this one, and I'll probably shim that with something. That's fine. No big deals, honestly. Um, I'd rather have it, uh, especially the Dream Mat, I'd rather have it a little narrower than my sluice than have it too big and have this type of an issue because I absolutely do not want to interfere with the structure, the flow of the mat as it was made and manufactured. I don't want to interfere with this or change it or, or, or do anything to this. So that's why I went a sixteenth over. So that's all good. Anyway, no big deal here. I'll trim that to fit. Now I still have to make a two retainers, one here and one here, to hold those mats. But you can see... Um, wait a minute. That's not 52 inches. Let me get a ruler, a tape. Maybe it is. One of these could be a little bigger than 24. You never know. 50. Okay. So this is two inches shorter than I had said. All right. No, no end of the world critical thing, I guess. But the extra two inches would have absolutely, absolutely been beneficial. Yeah, that's two inches shorter than I ordered. I thought it looked a little short when I got it. Well, anyway, we've got a 50 inch frame. And um, it doesn't give me a lot of room to put the uh, clips in here. 
So I'm gonna have to. I've got some aluminum. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Uh, I've got a, a break inside. I'm gonna form some aluminum to fit under the lip of this and come on over over this one. And then I'm gonna be very tight here to get a clamp on here. That is that is uh, two inches too short because I still gotta get this on. Although I could always have this go on over here. I'll figure it out. So I do have some some calculating to do. I went to the hardware store today. I got some, uh, I have a, uh, a bilge pump with a one inch fitting. So I went and got one inch hose, one inch PVC, and a bunch of one inch hardware here so that what I'm gonna have is, can you see what I'm doing? Yeah, all right, I'm gonna have here, end cap here, end cap here. I'm gonna have a T on here, and the water, and we'll have a, a T on here, right in the middle. That didn't look as big as I thought it would, now that I have that there. So I'm gonna have to drill holes through the T. I'm gonna drill holes through the pipe on either side. Obviously that'll be cut and fit into here, and I'll have holes in the T. I'm gonna have holes spraying out straight, and some going at angles, so that where there might be a gap in here, um, they're, it's just going to spray in all directions. So anyway, then we got another piece of pipe that's going to come to here. I couldn't find a straight nozzle, but that's fine. We'll have that, and then we got the water fitting. So I'll have that pointed down. All right. And then the pipe going to my water pump. I got six foot of pipe of tubing. That goes on there. Water pump, done. So I'm going to go in the garage, and I'm going to work this out right now. There is my head unit fits in here. Now I'm going to have to drill a mess of holes in here. Probably here, 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 here. Yeah, anyway. Now I've got to cut a piece to fit on here. Doesn't matter how big. I think I'm going to come out a little bit. Give me some flex room. I'll go cut a piece on there. Now, this will go into here. I'm not putting it tight. This will go into here. This I can screw tight. As tight as it'll go. I'm not fastening anything. Um, I found that I don't really need to seal this stuff. I just need to tighten that up really tight. This is never, never coming undone. That is absolutely for sure. That is not coming undone. And I highly doubt that's going to leak. And if it does, it's not going to be a big deal. And there it is. I like it. Now I've got to do some drilling. I just set this in because I'm going to have to get this over in a drill press. And uh, drill a mess of holes. So let me get that done. Well, I have some water flow. I just threw this on a battery. This hose is so incredibly stiff. It is really fighting me. So nothing's level or anything. I'm gonna have to um, use a heat gun in that hose. Now I'm just looking at um, water flow. It does come together in the middle. I'm gonna put a, a couple holes in here though. Absolutely need a couple holes in here and that'll fill out this gap. Um, but I think I've got plenty of flow over these mats. I think this is going to be really, really good. I think it's going to be everything I need. I'm, I'm very pleased with the flow over these mats. The real test is going to be with, uh, with some pay dirt. So I got to call it a night though. I had dinner come in between. That's some serious flow. I get those holes opened up and I think we'll be looking good tomorrow.